When I joined YouTube three years ago, what I loved about the beauty world on this platform was its sense of community. And when we knew we were gonna launch a beauty festival, two people in the community who came to mind were Miranda Kerr and Hiram. An Australian supermodel and a Hawaii-based skincare guru may seem like an unlikely duo, but I was inspired by both of their journeys, which began in adversity and ended in personal triumphs. They've actually never had a proper sit-down chat until now. Please welcome Miranda and Hiram. You know, briefly, I know that you both have had long winding journeys to where we all exist now in the beauty community, but what was your first beauty memory? What was your first beauty product? What got you first involved in the beauty game? Um, I don't know what, I guess I, I started my first modeling kind of experience was when I was 13. A friend of mine entered me into a modeling competition and I won this competition and the first photo shoot I remember going on and I saw this, these racks of clothing and I thought to myself, oh, wow, I get to choose what I'm going to wear. And they were like, mm -mm, honey, you got to wear what we tell you. I was like, really? That's so unfair. And so they put me in this brown top and I thought to myself, oh, I'd never wear brown. But it actually didn't look as bad as what I thought it did at the time. I was like, oh, okay, I get it. It's the contrast, the brown with the blue eyes. I don't know. It was, it was funny. Um, and Hiram, what were your sort of early beauty memories so funny enough i really had no exposure to beauty or products growing up i mean growing up on a cattle ranch um where you know life was very simple uh there wasn't much discussion beyond like the basics of like what you needed to do to take care of yourself and um and so you know growing up if i had breakouts or i had pimples or anything like that my i was always suggested oh just go out in the sun the sun will fix everything <laughs> Um, type of thing, which thankfully I know a little bit better now. <laughs> but, um, you know, growing up was, uh, I just had absolutely no exposure to it. And funny enough, my, my story of how I entered beauty is that I started uh, rapidly aging, uh, struggling with premature aging when I was in college. And I had wrinkles on my forehead and my under eye area. Um, and I, I never noticed them because it's just something I'd never noticed before until close friends came up to me and were saying, Hiram, you should start trying to take care of your skin. I'm telling you this as a friend, but you're starting to age really, really quickly. Um, you should consider trying skincare. And it's something that I had never thought of before. After that, I went on to become a makeup artist. And then I um, started becoming really passionate about, about skincare. Um, but it, yeah, before, honestly, I, I have to say like college was really my first exposure, which is pretty late, but I hope my story shows people that it's it's never too late to start taking care of your skin and taking care of yourself and finding the the passion within beauty. You can you can start at any age, and the sooner the better. What inspired you to dedicate yourself so much to certified organic skincare at a time when no one else was doing it, at a time where you probably had to put up some money, which I'm, I don't think anyone loves doing? Um, what was inspiring you along the way? I really wanted to create these powerful products that gave me results for my skin. I knew that, and I was, you know, educated enough to understand that what you put on your skin, it sinks in. And I wanted to make a conscious choice every day to put something that was feeding my skin and detoxing my skin and giving me the results I needed um, on a daily basis that was healthy for me. Being educated about what you're putting on your skin, what we put on our skin sinks in. And I've seen that firsthand, obviously, with um, my grandpa and that experience. And as he was trying to remove some weeds on the farm, didn't, you know, wash it off straight away and it sunk in. And, you know, ultimately he, you know, passed away from that tumor that, you know, was growing because of where it spilt on his back. So I just think if I can make a difference to people and give them healthier alternatives, um, you know, that hopefully will help them be healthier. Well, Miranda, I also think you're sort of underselling. I mean, to my knowledge, you were one of the first, if not the first, certified organic skincare. Yes. Well, yeah, we're still the only certified organic whole skincare range that Sephora carries. So it's something that requires a lot from like myself and my team, because there's a lot of auditing that happens by having a third party certify you. Um, and it's something that I really stand by that transparency 
and um, showing exactly. So it says on the back of the package, like this product contains, you know, this amount of natural ingredients and this amount of, you know, organic ingredients and it's by EcoCert Cosmos. And it's, it just really gives that assurance to the customer that what we are saying is true. We're not just on a clean beauty rampage, you know, we've been oh. certified organic from day one. So Hiram, I want to ask you, uh, in our previous conversations, I've used a term that I'm told that you are not such a fan of, and that is oh. clean beauty. Why do you, oh. <laughs> why do you hate the term clean beauty or, or what are you, what are your issues? With? I will say, I don't hate the term clean beauty. And actually, um, I'm grateful for the clean beauty movement because I don't think without the clean beauty movement, I would have ever picked up a product, looked at the ingredient list and really, you know, said to myself, okay, what ingredients, ingredients do I want to look for? What ingredients don't I want to look for? So in some ways, I think if anything, I take a balanced view at clean beauty. I like to praise the good that has come from the clean beauty movement, but also recognize and hopefully tell people that um, just because a product is clean doesn't mean it's right for you. Like the term clean, um, in my opinion, it doesn't mean that uh, if, a, if a consumer is shopping for skincare, for example, and the only reference or guide that they're looking for is clean, that doesn't mean that all the ingredients are going to agree with your skin. That doesn't mean the product is going to be right for your skin type. Um, it may have ingredients that could be sensitive to your skin specifically, just a little bit more guidance than that. And I think if anything, um, I'm also grateful for the clean beauty movement because it's encouraged us to look at sustainability and how the cosmetics industry is contributing to a bunch of different sustainability problems. Um, I, I, I will say though, I have taken a, a position of criticism for the clean beauty movement in the sense that uh, skincare is complicated. You know, there, there's so many different viewpoints you can take and it's, it's a, big gray area. And I think sometimes we tend to view clean beauty as a black and white type situation. If a product isn't clean, it's bad. If a product is clean, it's good. And I think there needs to be a little bit more nuance and a little bit more recognition that, you know, it depends and it depends on the ingredients. And just because it's clean doesn't mean it's necessarily going to agree with your skin specifically. So I will say that I, I definitely don't want to say I hate clean beauty because I actually, some of my favorite brands are some of the champions of the clean beauty uh, movement. Uh, I just, I, I take a little bit more of a controversial approach, I guess you could say. <laughs> uh, Miranda, I, I, I'm talking a lot. I would love to know your thoughts because you are the founder of a clean beauty brand. And uh, I would love to hear your approach, your philosophy, your, your opinion on all of that as well. Yeah. So what's interesting is I personally don't like the word clean myself um, <laughs> because it's unregulated, Yes, which uh, therefore means that each company, each business can decide what they deem to be clean. And so for me, it's more about having healthy skincare. And that's why my skincare is certified organic. And we have been certified organic from day one. So thank you so much for joining us today. We've got some more incredible programming, but thank you so much for joining me today. Thank, thank you so much, Darren. Really, really appreciate it. Yeah. Bye, guys. Thank you so much for checking out this exclusive clip from YouTube's first ever beauty festival. And if you like that, there's a lot more from where that came from. Click here to see the full show from hashtag beauty fest and be joined by more of your favorite beauty creators, gurus, founders, entrepreneurs, hairstylists, makeup artists, pop stars, celebrities, and more.